Hello and welcome to the Playmaker install video. Today we're going to be learning how to install Playmaker. This tutorial is going to be assuming that you downloaded it from the Asset Store, in which case we can come over here to Window, Package Manager. So up here I have selected the My Assets category. This is going to be all of the assets that are linked to our Unity account. Over here we have a sign-in button. I'm going to click sign in. And you'll enter your sign-in information. Once you're signed in, all of the assets linked to your account will start populating here. You could load more by clicking this button. And I'm just going to scroll down to Playmaker. You can see it gives us our version number here and up here. So I'm going to hit download. Once that's done downloading, it gives me the import option. So I'm going to hit import. Now this window is prompting me to import the Unity package with everything selected. I'm not going to really touch anything here other than import. Now that all these files are imported, we can actually install Playmaker. So I'm going to hit this install button. Take note of this. It says always backup projects before updating. Use version control to manage changes. Installing packages of any kind can end up screwing with your project. So just make sure that you have a backup ready, just in case. Since this is a totally fresh project, I'm just going to hit install Playmaker. And this is just a confirmation that I'm totally OK with that. I'll hit import. Now this may take a minute. And now that it's done, I could just close this and this. And now you'll see that we have our Playmaker menu up here and the Playmaker folder down here in our assets. OK, so now that we have Playmaker installed, let's set up a window layout for it. I'm going to come up here to Playmaker. First, we're going to click on Playmaker Editor. To prevent this welcome window from popping up, you can uncheck this show at startup. And now it shouldn't be coming back. This is your Playmaker editor window. I like to put mine right over here. And then we can go to our editor windows action browser. And I like to put my actions right over here. So this is a pretty standard setup for using Playmaker, just the editor and the action browser. To save this layout, I can come up here to window, layouts, and then save layout. And I'll call this my Playmaker layout. And so now, under layouts, we have my Playmaker layout. I can go to default. And this just brings me to Unity's default layout. But if I wanted to, I can come back here to my Playmaker layout. And it returns to my editor and action browser. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn all the various features of Playmaker. Links to more learning resources are in the description.